Oh my gosh, you guys. Today is May what? Fifth. It's Friday, May 5th. Oh my god, we have Kilo's groomers today too. Oh shoot. Okay, today is May 5th and at 5 a.m. this morning my water broke. I'm pretty sure and I'm only 34 weeks pregnant so I'm freaking out a little bit. Justin's not even here. My sister's here, thank God. I literally have nothing ready. I didn't do my hospital bag because I was gonna do it next week. Oh my God, we were literally joking. Oh my God, my water's leaking right now. Oh my God, okay. Shit. Uh, we were literally joking saying Justin leaving and I'm gonna go into labor. So at 5 a.m. I, was, I woke up and I was like, why is my underwear a little wet? I got up, went to the bathroom, took my pants off and a huge gush of water just came down and it's like nonstop leaking right now. I'm like, what the f do I do? I literally didn't pack anything, like my hospital bag, like the, there's no car seat in the car, my ner the nursery's not ready, I don't even have a bassinet. Oh my god, I'm like, what do I do? But I doubt the baby will come home with me anyways, if... It happened right now she said i called the the hospital and she said that it doesn't mean he's gonna come today but like maybe within a few days and i'm like a few days i'm not prepared for that either what the hell and i'm scared it's because kilo kicked me in the middle of the night last night or like earlier like he kicked my top stomach because he was sleeping next to me and i remember like holding his foot but i'm scared that that's the reason that it Oh my god, but I don't feel any contractions yet, so I'm not sure, but we're going to head to the hospital in a little bit, because fuck, I really don't know what to do, I'm, in, I'm scared, and Justin's not picking up because it's like 5 a.m., well it's 5 a.m. here, but no, it should be like almost eight. there, it's, yeah, it's two hours early, so it's like almost 8 there, but they all went out last night, so he was like super drunk last night, so his phone is on do not disturb, and he's probably sleeping, oh my god, okay, so then the nurse said, for me to eat a light snack and then call her back at six o'clock, which is in, a, in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna eat something real quick. Oh my God. Literally, this is not happening to me. Oh my God. And we have Dom here that we're babysitting too, but I'm scared it's cause Kilo kicked me. Shit. Oh my God, you guys, what are we gonna do? Now is watching vlogs about early pregnancy because she didn't prepare yet. I can't believe it's happening. Going to the hospital right now and Mel is driving herself to the hospital. We'll see if he comes out. Oh my god. <laughs> She's not prepared. Not prepared at all, dude. I was literally gonna have next week to do it and I go on maternity leave soon. So then I was like, okay, I'll do everything then I was not expecting this. I'm just, I like wonder what happened. Why did I say I was gonna go into labor early, but not this early? I literally said, Seriously? oh, it might come like when everyone's at EDC. EDC, when is that? May 20th or something. And it's literally May 5th. It's May 5th, but it's like Reg and Alan's wedding. So I'm like, is this baby just wants to be part of the party? <laughs> God, what the heck? What the heck? <laughs> oh my God. Waiting at labor and delivery for someone to come get me right now. And if he comes in the next few days, He's gonna be a Taurus boy. <laughs> and really I was waiting a for a Taurus. Gemini boy. And Tauruses are like super stubborn, so what the heck? And I feel really tired right now. Okay, well, if I leak, then. I have it recorded. Just what's gonna happen? It's fine, it's just water. Oh no, it's on my pants. It leaked through my pants. Okay, so she said I had a contraction earlier, but I literally didn't feel it. So I'm not sure what it is, but I'm just laying on the side, waiting for the doctor to come in. I feel fine, so I don't even know what a contraction would feel like, so I think when I actually feel it, I'll know for sure. So the doctor came in earlier and checked down there, and I'm two centimeters dilated. Oh, I'm leaking right now. 
um, two centimeters dilated and she said she saw the baby's hair which is crazy I'm like what and then I just can't believe it because I'm only 34 weeks and five days which she said is good because I passed the 34 weeks mark so we're just waiting for the doctor to come back in to see if like what's gonna happen if I'm, my body's gonna naturally go into labor or if I have to be induced or I'm gonna wait. I hope Justin makes it back by the time um, he's at the airport right now. His flight is probably in a few hours, but he won't get back here until like 10-ish. So I really have no idea. The poor dogs are at home by themselves. Hopefully ours can go back though in a few hours just to like check on them and Kilo didn't even go out to pee, so I don't know what's gonna happen. He's wearing a diaper though, so it should be okay. Yeah, this is crazy. I just was not expecting this um i jokingly said back in the day like oh the baby's gonna come during edc when all my friends go because he wants to join the party but it's reg and alan's wedding this weekend so he really wanted to join a party but like way too early <laughs> i'm like what the heck i just can't believe that i'm gonna have a Taurus baby who are supposed to be super stubborn and late and he wanted to come early i just I'm not even prepared. Literally have nothing prepared. I didn't get a wax. My nails are still on. I wanted to get lashes. Yeah. I cannot believe this. Oh, I think I'm having a contraction. Seriously? Yeah, because it, it went up to like 50. Okay, well the pain level wasn't that bad though. I have nothing prepared and I don't have a, I didn't have a birth plan. I didn't have my hospital bag. I didn't, literally didn't have anything. Oh, the contractions are kind of strong now stronger oh gosh stronger than earlier but not not like super uncomfortable and i really want some like hard candy i yeah. forgot to get that oh gosh i can't believe this is happening so it's gonna happen within like probably the next at least the next few days and then baby has to stay in the NICU for a while and i didn't even get to do my maternity shoot which is what you're most upset about no, I'm not upset about it. I just can't believe it. At least I had some at my baby bin. I have like some photos, but oh my god, I can't believe this. I got some food here. Let's see. French toast, eggs, potatoes, and a blueberry. This is the room that they're going to deliver or I'm going to deliver in. Crazy. I'm watching Food Network. I can't believe everything goes good baby's going there this is literally crazy contractions are getting a little more intense but manageable i don't know how hard it's gonna be um but i'm eating my food it's okay i guess um but yeah this is my room that baby's gonna come in if it all goes well i think he his heart did drop a little bit so this is my last meal in case I do have to get a c-section hopefully not hopefully it's fine so I'm just gonna relax now and wait for my sister to come back oh and we don't know if Justin will make it back on time because it's currently 11 07 and he lands at 10 30 at LAX so he won't even get here until probably midnight or less than midnight so baby might be coming without him <laughs> I don't know my contractions are getting more and more intense. It's 11.55. Oh my gosh, it came so quick. Oh, it's like so painful. I just can't believe how it was literally not that bad and then all of a sudden it was like kind of bad. And then I get like hot flashes when it happens. But this is crazy. Like I finally know what contractions feel like. Okay, go ahead. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's 12 o'clock right now and my contractions are getting more intense. They just checked me and I'm, well, in the beginning she said eight centimeters dilated and then I was like, what? <laughs> and then she's like, okay, let's be conservative and see maybe like a six and I'm like, okay. Hey, 
Melly is having a baby. <laughs> Crazy. Justin, where are you? No, that's your son. Okay, ready? Oh, you want to cut the cord? You ready? Yeah. Mel, you did so good. I'll talk to you about it later. You did so good, No, I literally can't even explain. It's done, Mel. You did it. You did it. How are you feeling? You get to have sushi. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so cute. Uh, Dude, uh, you did it. I'm like, <laughs> holy crap. You did so good. Uh, was it, it as was so painful? hard? Was it super painful or do you think it was manageable? I mean, manageable, but yeah, it's painful. Of course, though. It's okay, this, his head is small. It was like 30, 30 20 minutes of pushing. Oh my god. Maybe 20 but then minutes. once he came out, it's like, it all yeah. gone. Yeah. Oh Dude. My god. Just had our baby. Just can't believe it came that fast. So I'm not as tired as I think like other people would have been. Um, but a crazy experience. I didn't get the epidural because it was just coming so quick. When I got to the hospital, I was already two centimeters and they could see his hair, they said. And then the next time they checked me, they said I was around a six to an eight. And then I didn't think I needed the epidural yet. So then I was like, oh, I think I'm fine. And then all of a sudden it hurt so bad. I was like, okay, maybe it's time for me to get the epidural. But they checked me and I was already like nine centimeters. So it was like too late. And it all progressed so fast. Like I literally got here what time? Like 7.30. And we had the baby yeah, at like around 1.30. So insane. What the heck? Literally, I thought it was going to be like a 24-hour labor or something. You did so good. You're like, uh -huh. You had such a good birth, though. Did I? Yeah. That was so painful. And like my belly is like almost gone. Like I kind of miss it already. That's why I, I didn't even really take videos yeah. and pictures. And I took one like this morning the though. Moment that I feel like there was just so much stuff I still needed to do. Like this is just crazy. And then he has to stay in the NICU for a few weeks maybe. Weeks really? I think so. Or we'll see how he progresses. Yeah. But I tore. So she was like stitching me a little bit. She said it wasn't that bad of a tear, but who knows? And then they've been like pushing on my stomach, which is the most painful, actually. Wow. It might be more painful than contractions, just to see if there's any blood. Since it progressed so quickly, I could have like hemorrhaged in there. And I didn't think that he would come before Mother's Day because I'd even take my maternity photos. And now he's gonna be, he's here before Mother's Day, which is crazy. Oh my gosh. And he's born on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> he's gonna be a party boy. Did it scar you? No. Really? I didn't. I was like, that oh is so God. beautiful. <laughs> I literally was like, dude, the human body is amazing. Oh I didn't get scarred God. at all, dude. Mm, it's a little red. So we are in the NICU right now and we're doing skin to skin. I didn't say his name yet, but his name is Cassian, and he's doing so good. He's so small. Um, oh my gosh, he's twitching. Why are you twitching? Why are you draining? Look how hairy he is. He's so small. He only weighed four pounds and 13, 13 ounces, which is crazy. Did they say how long he was? 18 inches. Or was it 18 inches? So he's 18 inches, so much hair on his head too. I can't believe this is why they saw his hair when I was two centimeters. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he's so cute. So crazy, this is our child. Like this was in my stomach. How? I'm just so in shock. He's so small. Matching ivies. <laughs> this is what was kicking me. Does he have nails? Yeah, look, he has nails. Do you like being in the outside world? 
Yeah, he wanted to come so bad. Yeah, for real. We like jokingly said I was going to give birth early because he didn't want to miss the fun at EDC. He didn't want to miss the fun at Reggie and Alan's wedding. <laughs> and he didn't even let his dad. Your dad was only there for a day. <laughs> We are in a new room. I just ordered some food, but it was not good. And I think we waited a little too long, like with Cassian and the NICU, so it got kind of cold. But this jello is probably going to be good. <laughs> um, but Iris is going to go back to just like watch the dogs a little, take a nap. I'll bring probably some take food. a nap too. Yeah, bring some food, bring some boa. It's only 4.09 right now. So we have quite a bit of time until Justin comes back, but probably eight hours until he's here. And what else? I have to stay here tonight for just a night so they can see how I'm doing and stuff. But I feel good. Like I don't feel like it doesn't really feel like I just had a baby. Yeah. Like I feel normal. Like kind once of. you give the baby a like give birth, the pain goes away. Yeah, like there's no pain anymore, but it was really painful. And then I am very sore down there um, but then the nurse is going to come back later to teach me about like breastfeeding and stuff but can't wait to, I can finally drink as much caffeine as I want <laughs> back in the NICU with him he's sleeping so good he opened his eyes a little bit earlier he's so small he's so cute I'm just staring at his face. Look how tiny he is. He's so tiny. He was snoring a little bit earlier. He's so cute. Hi guys, I am back in my room now. Cassian is sleeping still over there. He's being so good. He slept on me for like, I want to say like over two hours. I got in there around 5.30 and then I left around 0745 and I just pumped to try to get some stimulation and my right boob pumped a little bit colostrum but it was so small and then it kind of just my robe or my hospital gown kind of just like went over it so it's fine I'll try again every three hours I think I have to do it at around 11 o'clock it's around 8 25 right now and Iris brought back some Ding Tai Fung. I'm so excited to eat this. My first real, real meal. Yeah, I was like, let's splurge. <laughs> I know, I saw the cost of it. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> it's okay. And then I got a honey green tea from there with boba. It's actually pretty good. The orange green tea is so good. Mm. It's pretty sweet, even though I got 50% sugar, but it's really good. Here it is, what we ordered. Mmm. This thing type is sitting in the spot. I got this chicken ginger soup because I think it's good for me, like after having the baby. It's so yummy. It's my first time trying that, I think. And then, obviously, the shallow balls are hella good. And the rice is so good. Literally, everything is so good. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> Come on in. <laughs> Isn't he so small? He's so cute. <laughs> Justin finally arrived. And he's doing skin to skin with baby. He is so cute. That is crazy. That's our son. It's currently 1.25, almost 1.30. We just left baby back in the NICU after Justin did skin to skin. He was so cute, like so comfy in there. Um, but yeah, Justin's finally here. He's over there laying down. But I think I'm going to take a nap real quick because I have to wake up in like 30 minutes to pump again. So I have to pump every three hours. So I'm going to wake up at 2, 5. Eight. and yeah I gotta get my rest now before baby comes home with us which is probably gonna be well it could be from a few days to a week or a few weeks just depending on how he feeds on the um, 
he like needs help feeding. It's so crazy, it doesn't even feel like I literally gave birth earlier. Um, yeah, good night. Good morning everyone, it's the next day. Justin is with Cassie, uh, he's sleeping right now. He says he's so cute, making the cutest noises. He ate at six and he did really good. It's currently 7.35. I'm about to fill out Cassian's birth certificate, which is crazy. And it's all online now, so I just scanned the QR code and I'm filling it out now. But yeah, I woke up every three hours, so 2, 5, and it's 7.30. I couldn't sleep after like 7 o'clock because uh, I think the sun came out and then I'm an early bird, like I always wake up for work at 6, so I kind of just woke up. But yeah, I'm going to fill out his birth certificate and pump in 30 minutes. Justin brought back Starbucks. I have a spinach wrap. I got a cold brew, the new cinnamon caramel nitro cold brew. We got a banana loaf, and I got a lemon loaf. And then we're going to go see Cassie after this. Yay! Hi, Cassie. Little kitty. Oh, oh, look at your tongue. Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh my gosh. How crazy is this? That Crazy Rich Asians is literally on TV right now. And his name is Cassian from Crazy Rich Asians. That's like where I found his name from. Oh my gosh. My favorite movie ever. How crazy is this? I literally believe in manifestation like so much and it's playing and his our baby's name is Cassian and I actually heard of the name from Crazy Rich Asians and I just always thought about it because it's Astrid's son's name and I like love well in the beginning I didn't know how I felt about it but the more and more I thought about it I just was obsessed with the name and yeah how crazy i just pumped a little bit and it's actually i don't know if you can see that right there you can see a little bit more is coming out per time i pump my let's see and this one has a good chunk too it's like so little but it's there if you can see that one my left boob like wasn't coming like barely anything was coming out but now it's like kind of even with my right boob now which is great and the lactation nurse just came in to tell me some things and I think a discharge nurse just came in so I should be able to go home sometime today I need to ask my nurse um, if anybody else is coming in maybe another doctor maybe not I'm not sure um, but yeah I'm doing good and I miss Cassian already he's like in the NICU which is just a little walk away but I want to go see him and just stare at him because he's so precious and so small I just fed him my colostrum in one of these and I just rubbed it on his cheek I actually produced a good amount if you can see in there and this one is good I'm like I should have saved this in a syringe I am leaving the hospital now. It is 1.35-ish. Um, I can't believe I had Cassian literally 24 hours ago. That is crazy. But I feel good, so I'm allowed to be discharged, I guess. Um, we just left him. We're going to come back probably tomorrow. I'm a little sleepy, though, so I might take a nap when I go home. Uh, but we have everything packed, and yeah, how crazy. Literally 24 hours ago, he was delivered we're gonna go home now and he's so cute I don't want to leave him but I just don't want to stay in the hospital I just want to relax at home um, but I can come whenever Justin went to go grab the car and I think they're gonna bring a wheelchair in for me to wheel me down there but I don't know why I just got really sad that I'm leaving the hospital already I don't know why I feel like this maybe it's the hormones postpartum or something but I'm like oh my gosh I'm about to go home and I was barely here for like 
oh, a little over 24 hours. And I'm leaving my baby here. I know he'll be fine, but it's kind of sad. You found a different side of me. The one I'd like to be. A different side of me, yeah.